and welcome to my channel. Welcome to an unboxing of a box I didn't think I was going to get today. Now, you already know this is the Frogwarts box. Shipping was telling me it was coming on Monday, which is the end of the retreat. The retreat ends for me on Monday morning at about 12, 11 or 12, give or take. So I was kind of thinking, I'm not going to get it. Next thing I know, I'm sitting down, I'm stitching in between challenges on Friday. A blue van pulls up and my Hogwarts box is in it, Frogwarts box is in it. And you should have seen me. It was like so, and it's been sitting on my coffee table because I haven't taken the chance in between challenges to actually record this. But tomorrow they're going to do spoilers. So I needed to get the box out of the way. Okay, there's a couple of surprises in here. Um, one is a bonus and we need to find out what it is. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I do cross stitch. I talk about knitting and crochet and all sorts of other things as well. So let me know what your favorite item might be from this box. And let me tell you, the Frogwarts stuff is incredible without even seeing what's in it. So I'm trying not to peek. Spoiler card. Okay. To follow along with this on Instagram, you want Frogwarts Year 4 BNS. And the prompts uh, can be showcased from the 12th, which is already. So if you haven't got your box yet, if you've ordered it, um, you can start posting straight away. Okay, it's the Goblet of Fire. It is Year 4. The end of the movie, we all have to... Put it back in the freezer then. Um, at the end of the movie, um, Katie does prompts <coughs> through the movie to get bonus points. It's very competitive, it's Frogwarts, and it's hard to describe. But um, yeah, at the end, we all hold up our wands for, um, I was going to say Gandalf. What? For um, Dumbledore. So yeah, it's all kind of... Oh. Right. Okay, first thing. Oh my goodness. I uh, love these little project bags like these are small by comparison this is kind of an A4 size sometimes we get the double sizes um I don't think I've got any here um but this is gorgeous and look it's a mer people it's a mermaid um from the lake it's double sided and these are lined so you've got the corresponding blue color so First thing out of the bag is, or out of the box even, is the Project <coughs> Keeper bag. Okie dokie. Oh, I've just seen. Right. Perfect bathroom project bag. Really? Prefect bathroom project bag. Stupid me. Um, artwork by Tim Bereen. Or no, Beer, Beer, Beeren? My, maybe Beeren. The second task is approaching and you still haven't figured out the egg clue. You better take Cedric's advice and head to the prefect's bathroom. Isn't that an impressive stained glass window? Oh, yeah. Keep the project safe from splashing with this water resistant project bag. I think one of the girls actually had an accident. She spilled her drink. And I think she was saying that it's built on a power cord. Just not good. Okay. This isn't rattling. I'm so thankful. This is the mug. Now... Again, if you haven't received this box at all, then you might not know. But we get a mug for every year, and the artwork has been done by Katie. Now, this is my favorite mug in the world, the size. Um, I have my tea in it on a daily basis, multiple drinks of tea. Okay, so year four, we have the Bow Batten's carriage. We have... A dragon. We have the hippogriff, Buckbeak. Um, I can't see these, I'm looking in the camera. Um, we have the goblet of fire. We have um, a cat on the castle. Is that McGonagall? Well, I know McGonagall is a cat, but um, I'll have to have a look at it in a bit more detail. We have the um, Durmstrang ship and how gorgeous is this this is absolutely stunning oh it's not the hippogriff it is um the horses from the carriage oh that's gorgeous 
it's not a cat <laughs> it looks like a cat on the um camera but when i actually look at it it's more the castle detail um that's so cool okay the mug the mug the mug um, let the games begin. Mug. Artwork by the Black Needle Society. This is the fourth mug in our ongoing Frogwart series. From the left, the Bow Batten's carriage is being flown by the winged horses. Underneath is the maze. Oh yes, I didn't even tweak that. Silly me. Uh, of the third task. And as the sun sets, the Hungarian horntail pursuing Harry during the first task. So that's here. Uh, from the right... The Durmstrang ship has just emerged from the Great Lake and has disturbed some of the residences. There's a kraken kind of thing here, uh, the giant squid. And one of the merfolk is helping with the second task. And at the centre of the Goblet of Fire is the Goblet of Fire, about to choose the champions and Mad-Eye Moody approaching Hogwarts. So Mad-Eye is here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can just kind of see his shoulders and hair. All right. I love the mug. Ooh, we've got a temporary tattoo, if you dare to have it, uh, the dark mark with the um, order, order, ah, the, yeah, it always escapes my head when I go to say it. Okay, the temporary tattoo is the dark mark, art by Devi Sisk. Devi's in the group. Um, I think Devi actually substituted on our Quidditch match. Lord Voldemort has returned and now needs to summon his Death Eaters. Roll up your sleeve and show him your dark mark. So, there's that. Ooh! Constant vigilance. It is a, <laughs> it's a stress eyeball. Oh, physio. If you ever need a break from your stitching, there is the physio ball. Okay. Um, constant vigilance was actually one of the things we needed to find in Quidditch. Quidditch? Yes, it was. It was in Quidditch. So this is the... Is this the extra? No? This is the extra? No, Mad-Eye Moody's eyeball. Okay. Designed by the Black Needle Society. There's a new defense against the dark arts teacher at Hogwarts this year. He has a magical eye that can see out the back of his head like all mums. Talk about stressful, give it a squeeze and reduce your own stress and to relieve hand cramping during those, all those stitching challenges. This is going to go right next to me for the back to back from 11 p.m. tonight through till <laughs> seven, eight in the morning. Yeah, it's going to be psycho. Okay, every flavor floss. What floss have we got this year? Every favourite floss by Colour and Cotton. They do amazing flosses. We get these every single year. And these are five more exclusive colours. Oh my goodness, look at the colour of these. Okay, we've got Chocolate Frog. I wanted a Chocolate Frog in my box. The chocolate Frog is brown. Oops. Sit. We have Sugar Quill, which is pink. We have Peach. Ooh, look at the variegation. That's cool. <coughs> we have, hang on. I'm just going to, ooh, it's a little bit glary, but you might get more light on colors. We have Berry Crunch, Blueberry. And we have Canary Cream, which is a yellow. And you can see the variegation there. Light's picking up. So there, ooh, wobble. Okay, so there is our floss. Now, I'm just going to oh, tuck, tuck them back in and leave them hanging out. Okay, what's next? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, bubble wrap. Sorry, noise. Oh, no way. It's, it's chocolate, Harry. No. <laughs> Care and Magical Creatures. It is... Oh, no way. It's petrichor ozone salt, clean air and driftwood. It's a wax melt. Okay, but it looks like chocolate. I Now, do you know what the smell of petrichor is? Do you watch Doctor Who? Oh, that's divine. I'm going to have to get myself a melt. So there's that. Petrichor is the smell of uh, soil after rain, after a, a hot day. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, I never read out what it was. Sorry. Floss. Um, you got the floss. Um, the wax melt. Oh, where's the wax melt? Is that the extra? It's in fabric, sampler, tattoo, four key. That's this. Oh, wax melts. Care of magical creatures, wax melts. Hand poured by the Black Needle Society. No way. Oh my goodness, girls. Hagrid's hidden something extra special for the fourth years to to find in this wax for his care of magical creatures class. No. Have you put something in the wax? Is that what people are gushing about? It's like there's all kinds of gold glitter in here. And it's just like, oh, I don't have a melt. Okay. Moving on. The port key pen. It's a little maze. And you've got to get your little, well, there's two or three. How many? Two? Two? Two little ball bearings in here that you've got to get through the maze. So your port key pen. Uh, artwork by the Black Needle Society. That's really cool. Um, it's time to enter the maze for the third task. Can you solve it and reach the Tri Wizard trophy first? But oh no, it's a port key. Use this pen to record passwords during the retreat. Yes. I think my pen was actually having a bit of a conniption when I was writing and then it seemed to come back to life. Okay, I think this is the personalised needle minder or maybe not so personalised <laughs> this year. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, uh, shimmer, shimmer. Okay, it's the Hungarian horntail. That is gorgeous. I love the shape. Great big magnets on the back. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the uh, needle minder, first task, artwork by Karen Leopold. Reach your hand into the velvet bag and choose your dragon. Of course, yes. For the first task, which one will you face? We've included one of four possible needle minders in this year's box. So I got the horntail. And of course, there's the other three dragons that were in the hunt for the egg. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, dear. It's been a long day. I've got one more challenge before I can get some sleep. Okay. Quick quips quill fabric. It is thirst two count Lugana. It's a fat eighth. Look at the color. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Brandy, listen, you have outdone yourself. Now, Brandy actually came to the rescue, and Laura and Katie actually drove down to get these delaying our boxes but making sure that we had everything so this is a hot off the press and it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful brandy you are amazing you know i've loved you anyway but yes okay um now the script here is a little bit different but it's time for the weighing of the wands. But first, the Daily Prophets, Rita Skeeter, wants to, an up-close interview with the champions, especially the youngest, age 12, 14, anyway. Um, and you don't mind if she uses her acid green, quick quotes, quill, do you? Now, we had a problem. Well, we had, yeah, we had to find the quick quotes, quill on a pattern. It was a doozy to find. But let me tell you, when we found it, it was, I think, the Etsy store is something like Witch Cross Stitch or Witch X Stitch. And she has done every single year of Harry Potter and the details in them are just incredible. Okay, so I would well recommend you go and check that out. It's a little bit like the Clouds Factory banner in that there's lots and lots of characters on it, but her artwork is just incredible. All right, a baseball hat, spew baseball hat. It says Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. We actually had to come up with um, an acronym um, for peeves, or not for peeves, for house points. Okay, I don't actually have um, a baseball hat at the moment. Um, it is designed by the Black Needle Society. It's slave labor. <coughs> labor. 
Rather than going on a hunger strike, Hermione has, Hermione has commissioned this spew baseball cap as part of her campaign to secure fair wages, pensions and sick leave, amongst other rights of house elves everywhere. Keep in mind that if you give them clothing, you won't have them as your slave any longer. Okay, we have a wallet. And this is gorgeous. Okay, there's a dust sheet. <coughs> it's ticket. And look, it's got the Ireland. And Bulgaria. And that's so cool. So the World Cup final, it's got the ticket number on it. And you've got a piece of stuffing in the middle. And I'm, I'm checking. I'm looking for the extra item just in case it might be in here. And I'm not seeing it yet. Okay, nothing, nothing hidden in there. Okay, but look, it's a purse. Very, very handy. Um, where is this the wallet? Artwork by Tim Buren. Um, this is the World Cup ticket wallet. This time present your ticket to the 422nd Quidditch World Cup. Who will you be supporting, Bulgaria or Ireland? Use this wallet to keep track of your galleons and betting slips. We'd advise you not to place any bets with Luda Bagman. Okay. Getting down to the spectacular now. I don't know if these tear easily, but these are vacuum packed. So this will expand. Oh, and these are amazing. If you want one of these, the, they may be in the vault, but let me tell you, they will fly out the door. Oh, good night. That's the bottom. Oh, is that Hermione in the book? Oh my goodness. It's the ballroom. Ooh, I can't see it. It's the ballroom. And ah, oh, look at all these people dancing. Oh my goodness. And these minks are just gorgeous. I actually have my previous one from the Novels and Needles event. Actually, no, not the Novels and Needles. Um, I have to think, what was the last box I got? Yes, it would have been. And um, it's absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful soft mink. They're really, really light as well. Um, the, the Yule Ball Blanket is artwork by Ellie Goodwine. Um, she's wonderful. It was a wonderful night of dancing at the Yule Ball. And didn't Hermione Granger look stunning? She did. But it was a bit chilly in there. You'd better snuggle up with the Yule Ball Blanket tonight or in bed. No kidding. Okay. The pattern. Now, if you haven't already seen the pattern... There she is. I am finished. I will actually show you mine in just a second. So this is the hard copy pattern. We also had the option of having the digital pattern. Oh, oh no way, no way, no way. Oh my goodness. Is this what the extra was? Okay, listen. Firewing designs. I actually have got a couple of firewing designs. I had... Um, I was watching Fortnite Fabrics when the boys were doing their videos way back. They did Paladin, and I did Paladin in red silk on blue misty fabric. Um, so it was monochrome, I think it was Paladin, and I also bought Pilot. Firewing designs are incredible. Okay, so this one is Dragonfly Hitchhiker and... I'm um, sorry, but that backstitch is what, it's probably gossamer. Um, 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 trying to think. Um, petite treasure braid, gossamer. Um, or there's, there's another one that's a kind of fluffy kind of mohair. Anyway, you get all the, you get all the shine. Look at that. That's just incredible. And then Peridot is the green dragon and the, oh, wow it's gorgeous um takes this one perido actually has uh 11 colors 
yeah, 11 colours in that. And this dragonfly has nine. Uses chronic. Oh, yes, one strand to whisper. That was what I was looking for. <coughs> I've either had it before, maybe we got it in the Black Needle box, or it was with a Dark Queen. I don't think I've used it in a Dark Queen. It might have been in a Black Needle box from a couple of years ago. Um, okay, the... What am I looking for? Patterns. Project bag. Eyeball. Mug. Temporary tattoo. The pen. Melt. Project bag. What, what, what? Where's the pattern? Are they both? No. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. I'm not seeing it on the list. First task, needle minder, the blanket, the project bag, the wax melt, the port key pen, the temporary tattoo, the band sampler. Ah, two firing designs. No way. Okay. Ladies. Okay, um, I'm, I'm not seeing it. So they did tell us that there was extra thrown in. Um, okay, the band sampler. We were going to be able to earn an extra 100 points if we were to complete the um, design for this year. But you couldn't start it until a certain date. So it was Sunday fortnight we got to start this. We had to put a password up. Little Hangleton was the password and you had to show your fabric without a stitch on it. I finished mine. I finished mine ooh, yesterday. Yesterday? No, first thing this morning. I had something like 260 odd stitches left and I had done all the back stitching and got all that out of the way and that is a hundred percent finished. Isn't that color gorgeous? friend of mine, uh, Fancy Fabric, Melissa, has dyed all of these colours for me. So that is my year four. If you've been watching my old channel, you will know that I also have it on um, <clears throat> a neutral colour. But I don't have access to my neutral colour at this stage. So I'm doing all of these on new colours. There is year three. And the progress that I have made. And um, year four went for a walk. And year two, no, yes, year two. Don't mind my long threads is there. And year one is so far the only one that's on any kind of neutral and I haven't done too much of it. This is going to be used in one of the challenges. So what we find that are speedy to do are the diamonds, but this is all pretty much white. So snowball is going to be used in there for my speed stitching. And I literally in that last session doing the basilisk was able to crack out 389 stitches. And that was just by, let me show you um basilisk 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 that was literally because it's only green in the center and i was just filling in here around all the words so it was just like literally just stitch without having to consult a pattern and that is the fastest way for you to do anything in these competitions so um i've got some sessions left i've got uh, i think it's one tonight and then we start off at 11 p.m tonight our time and it goes right through to seven in the morning so i think it's like maybe like eight eight more challenges that are all speed stitching it's full on they're back to back to back there is no break in between so any break that we take comes out of our stitching points um i think there's one that i have to do penalty points on so i only get one point for every 50 stitches and um then brain oh crazy cat um then um, um um i've got the rest of the challenges and i will finish off by doing some of my greenhouse of oddities on the final three challenges because they will finish that off and that will actually finish that 
as well for the week. So that released on Saturday and that is part seven or eight. That's by Lola Crow, and I absolutely love her work. Um, I've been able to do some Dark Queen in the interim period. I think I might be able to do Dark Queen again. Um, but I'll see how I go. I just On the penalty stitches, I really need to use a solid block so that I get maximum stitches in because I'm going to get minimum points, really. Um, so, yeah, there's that. All right. Look, I hope you've enjoyed it. The Frogwarts box... The vault will be open soon. You can use my code PIPPA5 on anything in the vault when that goes on sale. It's usually at the first of the month. It makes sure that everyone's got all their bits and pieces. And then it's like the first of the following month. So 1st of October, or sorry, not 1st of October, my goodness, 1st of August. Expect that. If you are interested in coming along to Frogwarts Year 5, which is the Order of the Phoenix, which is, um, ugh, gosh, what's her name? Um, um. Ah, pink. I can see her. <sighs> Professor Umbridge. If you like Professor Umbridge or if you hate Professor Umbridge. Anyway, it's her. So pink is probably going to be a big feature next year. Um, She's a nasty little woman. Um, Yes. Anyway, that's year five. Then there's year six and year seven to go in the books. And then there is a physical retreat for year eight. If you want to get saving for year eight, you can go to a physical retreat, Frogwarts which will be reuniting an awful lot of people. There's people from Australia flying in and all sorts of things. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but we'll wait and see. Not making any promises at this stage. Um, if you're interested, the box goes on sale around about December, so keep your eyes open. If you are interested in anything Black Needle Society, please make sure that you sign up for the uh, newsletter on the website. You can sign up for the regular boxes to go on the wait list. At the moment, they are backdating, um, waitlisting, sorry, they're releasing people who have been on the list since April last year. So they are a, literally a year waiting list. So if you are interested at all in any of these boxes, please go and sign up and put your email address in and Laura will send you out an email when the spots get released, which is few and far between. Some of the items are sold by some of the people who buy the boxes. They usually go to people in the US because shipping. Um, so if you're interested in that, you might, there's a buy and sell page. I Look, I don't know if I have a hot favorite. Um, Firewing Designs, look, I love Firewing Designs. I really, really like this. I wish I had had it um, for the project um, when I was at the beginning, but I actually need a bigger bag because I've got all four years on the go this year. So it's fine. Um, I'm going to love it when I get to use it. The colors of the floss are just incredible. They're gorgeous. Um, the wallet is going to be handy. The melt, the needle minder. I have to be very careful actually not to put the needle minder in photos. And the baseball cap. Spoilers. Um, the wax melt. Yeah, I am wondering if there's something in the wax melt. There's gold stuff even through it and everything else i don't know and now i'm just suspicious of everything um the squeeze ball is going to go on my chair so i've got some stress relief as we're really cracking out the last lot just double check that there's nothing in this there's usually a lot of pages in these patterns <clears throat> but it's just the band sampler um, or the drum and blown up no nothing nothing extra in that it must be the in the firing designs and it's like whoa yeah can't wait because i'm not seeing it on there um i know it's been confusing a lot of people they've been kind of going Ooh, we don't know what it is but people have said we found the hidden item and it's like um <laughs> two things that I'm not seeing on the list now that's not to say that I'm able to pick everything out but I I'm sure I've looked through it and it's like no no they're not there um yeah all right um I'm going to go I am going to get some food my next challenge is in an hour and 15 minutes I'm going to release oh <laughs> I was gonna say release this usually i release these at 6 30 in the morning but i'm going to be in the middle of challenges 
so and so are my people who are going to want to watch this so um yeah i might delay that i'll get this uploaded you'll get to see it obviously when it's released um yeah hope you've enjoyed it please stick around um if you're not already subscribed please subscribe uh drop me a like and a comment is there anything here that you actually love i mean the mug for me is a big like it's a daily it's a big mug it makes a gorgeous big cup of tea it's fantastic i love those mugs and i have one i actually have spares of all of the years um so it's going to get a place where the cats aren't gonna kill it um high up i'm gonna stick with my spare year one i think that i'm using at the moment um yeah okay and the blanket is I mean, that's a given but I can't take pictures and spoilers because not everyone's got their boxes yet. So, <sighs> fun. This is awesome. Girls, thank you so much. Um, I know you're going to watch the video in time. Look, this retreat has been fantastic. It's a brilliant movie, this one. Um, th th there's all kinds of highs and lows and, you know, the... What is... The spidery does that. Um, with the... the you know, the, the spider teeth and the ones at the end is a little bit poignant. And, oh, my boy. And, yeah. If you haven't seen the movie, then where the hell have you been? Um, yeah. Okay. We're done. We're done. Okay. I'm going to go. Sophie has actually been a bit poorly this weekend. And she's been snuggled up on the seat next to me. Sleeping most of today. So nice for me, but not so nice for her. I'll go look after her again. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.